Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over the realized cap hodl waves chart and how you can use this tool to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart as well as many others are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it is released. So what is the realized cap hodl waves chart? Well, it's one of the newer additions we have to look into bitcoin.com. And if you've used a lot of the charts on our site, you're fairly familiar with what we have. You'll notice that it is already quite similar to the standard hodl waves chart. So if we look at the hodl waves chart and quickly briefly go over this, this is showing us the amount of Bitcoin wallets on the network that have held Bitcoin for a given period of time. So if we just scroll down so we can see the key, we can see that all of these different colors are grouping their Bitcoin holdings by age. So if we were to just take off all of these apart from the 10 plus years bracket, then we would see here all of the Bitcoins that are held by wallets that have been holding it for at least 10 years. They only began increasing once Bitcoin had been around for over 10 years. And since then, it's just been on a steady rise. This may be due to long term holders never willing to sell lost wallets, etc. But this HODL waves chart is basically just showing us the current interest in Bitcoin as grouped by different age brackets. Now, the realized cap HODL waves chart is showing us something similar, but rather than just the percentage of total network wallets by age bracket, it's actually showing us their cost basis for buying Bitcoin. So how is it doing this? It is using the realized cap, which if you're not already aware, we have done a chart explain it video on, which I would highly recommend going to watch. But the realized cap is pretty much the average entry price or the last transactional value of all Bitcoin on the network. Once we have the last transactional value of each Bitcoin, we can then aggregate that and get an average for the realized price. And that realized price is just the average entry price of all Bitcoin on the network. And the realized cap then is just multiplying that realized price value by the current circulating supply of Bitcoin. So what we can do with this realized cap HODL waves chart is rather than just seeing new users coming into the space or old wallets beginning to take up more of the network wallets, we can actually see the cost basis or the average entry price for each wallet given a certain age bracket. So if we're to just remove all of these apart from, for example, the one day to one week and the 24 hour wallets. So anyone who's only been holding Bitcoin in their wallet for less than a week, we can see here immediately, this has a much greater impact on the network, the realized cap hodl waves in comparison to the standard hodl waves chart, because it is actually showing us the impact on the realized cap that these wallets had. So if we look at the 2017 peak here, we can see around 40% of the impact on realized price at that period was by wallets under a week old. Now, why is this happening? Well, as Bitcoin's price increases exponentially, usually it gets a lot of retail interest. And this retail interest usually buys in, but at that point, the market is already overheated. We've already undergone a long and extended bull cycle. And usually the market may be topping out in price. It is a great indication when lots of new users are getting into the space and are willing to pay a substantial amount for their Bitcoin, especially compared to the historical average. That is a good indication of the market is beginning to get overheated. So this realized cap hodl waves chart is really great, especially when grouping by these smaller wallets at timing the market tops. So these can be a great place in confluence with other on-chain and market cycle indicators to really get a grasp on where we are in a cycle. Once the new users are coming in and having a large impact on the realized cap, that can be a great time to consider selling or taking some profits. And similar to the new users coming into the space and having a large impact on the realized cap hodl waves chart, what we can see is when the longer term wallets, those that have been holding for at least one year up to over 10 years, once they begin to have a substantial impact on this realized cap hodl waves, this usually is an indication that not only are there fewer and fewer retail buyers coming into the space, but the realized cap is maybe converging with price indicating that maybe Bitcoin is at a true or fair value. And then once this begins to really accelerate to the upside, it can really indicate that longer term market players, potentially those with large amounts of Bitcoin who have been in the market for a long time are not willing to sell. They would rather hold or accumulate for the next cycle. So once we see these realized cap hodl waves begin to increase exponentially, this usually indicates a great opportunity to try and accumulate some Bitcoin. So just to summarize, the realized cap hodl waves is comprised of two different charts in essence. The hodl waves, which shows us the total amount of Bitcoin in circulation at any given time, 
grouped into different age bands. It is also using the realized cap, which is the cost basis of Bitcoins held in wallets at any given point, which is giving us the price at which each Bitcoin was likely purchased. This is often referred to as a fair value representation of the Bitcoin price. So the realized cap hodl waves, sometimes referred to as the R hodl waves, is factoring in both of these different indicators and combining them to see the average acquisition price of Bitcoin by wallets of different ages. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com. We provide Bitcoin charts for free and alerts at an affordable price that can cost several thousands of dollars per year on other platforms, or in some cases, the charts we show are simply not available anywhere else. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other charts and gain even more insights. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.